What's happening guys? Today we're going to set up the rotary valve time in on a C-Do 720 motor, 717, also uh, known as 717 that is. Uh, first you're going to be looking at the, uh, the degree wheel. Uh, you do have to set the, uh, the mag uh, front cylinder up at top dead center. Uh, I'll show that in a minute, but uh, pretty much I'm just mainly just showing you what it looks like when the, uh, when the valve is on and where the marks are supposed to be. So you're setting up the dial wheel where 360 slash zero starts out at the bottom of the valve opening. And then you're gonna follow that around to where it would get to 147. On this particular one, it's 147 degrees, plus or minus five degrees, or 65.5 degrees, plus or minus five on a 720 motor. So this is the mark right here on the, on the pretty much on the um, degree wheel where you get around at 147 lines up right here. One of the best ways to do it, you can use a business card and kind of line it up to where you get it right where it's supposed to be, which is about right, pretty much right there. 140, actually there it is. Uh, 145 and 147 is right there. So then you're going to take the wheel after you're finished marking that uh, and you're going to spin it around to the top of the valve opening and then you go and reference the the opposite end, which is uh, going to be right here at 65.5 degrees. So, and you line that up, you see 60, and then you go to 5, 65.5, you get the mark right there. So if you're looking at the valve, and you take this back off after you get the uh, timing marks set up, you see the valve itself, if it's lined up as close as it can be, that's great. If for some reason it's off a little bit, you can actually flip the flip the valve around because it is asymmetrical and get the best lineup uh, of the two marks that you have there. And then at that point, you have it set. So I'm going to show you the um, setting up the top dead center, but that gives you an idea about what you're looking at. Before you put the valve on, obviously, you would have the, had, have the green mark run around and get those, uh, get those marks done and line it up to the, the top and the bottom point. But you do have to have the... Uh, the engine at top dead center before you actually put the valve on so you know it's dead on. This is the location if you flip the valve from where I just had it. Uh, this is actually what it looks like uh, the other way around. Uh, see how it's off a good bit from the marks where I have it? So I'm going to flip it back the way that it was so you can get an idea. But see how it's, it's off really hard there? Uh, pretty much flipping it back around where it was. And that'll give you an idea as to... Uh, being asymmetrical what the best match is for getting it lined up dead on that right there is dead on marks so if you have to flip it you know just to get it lined up that's the best thing you do you need to get it as close as you can within five degree tolerances because that's what you have to, uh, that you're working with all right guys i'm going to show you how this uh, this cool tool that i have that uh, checks top dead center does uh, i've had this for a while i use it on uh, mainly c dues when you're checking uh, the rotary valve timing uh, but you can get an idea, you can see how it uh, it starts off at three. That's pretty much where top dead center is. Uh, I'm going to show you what happens when you're uh, when you're running it back and forth or spinning it all the way around so you can see how it drops. Uh, see how it's already going down. That means that uh, it's going to top dead center for the other, pretty much the PTL piston right, right at the back there. And you kind of watch it come around again. You can kind of see it start to come back up when I get there. You see right there. Uh, if you can watch it, you should be able to see it, and it gets right to three, and then it pretty much stops. That's top dead center. You pass it, it starts to come back down. That's right there, so you want to go back the opposite way, get it where it's top dead center again, and that's when it uh, pretty much stops, which is right there, so that's TDC. So this tool is really cool. You can actually get a set of them uh, that has pretty much like three different threads, or three different spark plug thread openings. Uh, I found it really useful just for this main purpose. You're not sticking a screwdriver in on top of a piston or uh, anything, a screwdriver or uh, a ratchet extension or whatever. This tool really makes it a lot easier where you're not sitting there trying to guess. It actually gives you some markings um, you know, that you can actually work with. It makes it a lot easier to actually see the, uh, see the marks and see where you need to stop to get the best, uh, um, most accurate reading. So hopefully that helps you out. Uh, but I'm going to keep on going with this rotary valve time as you get the most information you can. These two pictures will help clarify the two valve degree markings a little bit better. The 
This is what your final valve alignment should look like when your mag cylinder is at TVC. If your rotary valve cover looks anything like this one, you should think about getting a replacement one for sure. That pretty much wraps up the details on the C-Do 720 engine rotary valve timing. Don't forget to check out my description for further info on component part numbers and tool info. Please smash a like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe to my channel to see more detailed videos like this one.